everybody, it's Kristen, and today with me for my Try Treats video, and you've met them before, are my parents, <laughs> Steve and Fancy. They are joining me today. Uh, they, they actually came over for us to freeze, or er, process and freeze squash, and I said, well, before we do that, let's just have a little fun with one of these with one of these boxes. So again, if you've never seen one of these before, I do have a playlist. So if you've never been one with me for one of these videos before, this is a really fun subscription box. It comes once a month, and there are two different sizes. I have both of the prices listed below. This is the bigger of the two, and it always comes from a different country, treats from, those, from the, that country, and it's always a lot of fun. I've done it with lots of different people in my life. So this one is from Italy. So that should be good. It's too bad Laura's not here to partake. Um, it says, This month's streets come from Italy, a beautiful country known for its cuisine, fashion, sports cars, and for being home to some of the greatest artists and designers in the world, like shoes. Italy is a country with a tradition of craftsmanship, and this tradition can be observed in the superb quality of treats they produce. Your box this month contains a selection of some of the finest treats Italy has to offer. You will find traditional Italian cookies made with traditional recipes, alongside contemporary favorites like Kinder Bueno, an incredibly delicious chocolate-covered hazelnut wafer. I think I I've had that before. <laughs> so you're all ready? Do you ready to go? There we go. Um, Italians love hazelnut with their chocolate. You will also discover unique treats like the candy that will fizz in your mouth, chocolate in the shape of a hamburger, and more. There's something in this box for everyone. We can't wait for you to dig in and try these treats. Sit back, relax, enjoy. Bon appetit, the treats team. So, here we go. I've got my scissors ready to go. All right, so the first thing we have here is the Kinder Bueno, and I feel like we've had Kinder, in, I know we've had Kinder in other boxes. This one looks like, oh, it's kind of like little individual pieces, and this is the one I think that they said had perhaps hazelnut in it or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a context clues, Kristen. Here, have a little chocolate. There you go. I mean, I can tell you what's not to like about this. Mmm. Mm. And the stuffing inside is really creamy. Very, very creamy. Crunchy outside, creamy inside, and chocolate covered. I didn't actually show you. I'm going to try to do, like, zoom-ins when I edit this, but it's kind of hard because we're far away. Because there's a lot of us to fit in. This is really good. Good? Mm-hmm. Thumbs up? It is really good. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Three. I'll join. So I was just looking at the list as I was opening this next thing, and that there's usually there's some savory and some sweet, but it appears that it's all sweet this time. So the next thing is, yeah, right, heat dessert for life is short. These are Honey's Milk and Honey Filled Drops. So they're in a package like this, and I'm assuming they're individual in here. I don't know that I've ever had these or something like this that I, I'm aware of. They're all cutely individually wrapped. Mm. It's a hard game. Oh, is it like a wither? It's hard, but I, I bit it accidentally, and there's something in, like it's soft inside. Mm. It's good. That would be the milk. It's kind of like a Werther's, only it's not that flavor, but like consistency wise, I would say it's kind of like a Werther's. Yep. But I don't know. There's something on the inside of it, probably honey, maybe, or the milk. It's okay. It's not my favorite. It's kind of like a cross between a Werther's and a bit of honey. Yeah. And I'm not sure that it went right. I don't love it. <clears throat> or a couple of them, perhaps. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Our technical advisor is helping with napkins. <laughs> Just because we can't eat all of this. All right, so that was, we had kind of was, decided it was like this. The one, they haven't had a chance to watch the one with Oliver yet. Oliver did like a quarter of a, <laughs> he was like breaking it down. It was very funny. He would. It's when we're very hungry. Oh, I like those. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. And these, we have these here, but they apparently are from Italy. This is the Ferrero Rocher, I believe is how you say this. Right? Yep. That's your story? Ferrero Rocher. I don't know that I've ever had one of these, quite frankly. No, they're quite good. They are very good. I recommend them. Again, for, Should we share Sure, sure. Yeah, Mom and I will share one. Here, you take a bite first and then hand it over. You can eat at the same time as Mama. That's all in. Mm. Uh, oh, I think I got all in. Oh, you got all the good stuff. That's right. <laughs> you got the nut. Oh, so you've never had one of those. It's kind of like a creamy, chocolatey sort of center thing. And then there's like a 
wafer around it and then dip in something with crunchies. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a hazelnut. In the yep, there's more hazelnut. I like the crunchies sure. on the outside. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's, that's a winner. That's a thumbs up. That's a winner. Yeah, that's a thumbs up. All right, so this is a really big box of lady fingers. I think this is what you're supposed to use to make tiramisu, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've never made tiramisu. Because little known fact, while I love coffee now, I didn't always love coffee. And so I never, tiramisu was just something I never liked because they soak them in espresso, right? Uh, I have no idea. You've never made tiramisu either? We haven't either. Huh, well, there you go. It's like getting into Fort Knox, really. I should have used the scissors I brought. <laughs> there you go. Should we split one, Mom? Absolutely. <laughs> I've, never, I've never had a lady finger. Huh. I think it would be better with frosting. <laughs> <laughs> better with frosting? Or something good to dip in. Yeah. A dip. Like in a, a lemon, dip in your a chocolate dip or a dip. A chocolate, a chocolate fondue. fondue. Well, yeah. there you go. Or ice cream. Yeah. So, I'm not sure that my opinion on this is an opinion on this brand of lady. I didn't even tell you guys the brand. I'm so sorry. This is Vicenzo. Come on, Dad. Help, help us. Vicenzo. Vicenzo. Um, so, I don't know that it's a statement on this brand or on Lady Fingers in general. I could see how they would work though to soak up something. You know, like when they talk about it soaking up the espresso. Mm -hmm. I could see how that would work for that, but that is not my favorite. <laughs> That's a <laughs> not mom's favorite either. <laughs> All right. Like I said, needs chocolate. We'll save these for later. We'll let Bob participate in these because he loves these. There's dots in here. Really? <laughs> Bob is Bob is participating from behind. All right. Here's another one. This sounds interesting. This is, oh boy. <laughs> that. Uh, uh, like that. And these are puff pastry sticks with butter. I mean, who doesn't like butter? Butter might have helped the lady. <laughs> so, yeah, butter might help those too. Well, I'm going to have to ask Laura if she's familiar with some of these. All right. And they, they actually come in a... In a like a plastic thing, and, and like Dad said, probably so they don't get crushed. Mom and I will share They're again. pretty delicate. They are very delicate. Very airy. Doesn't look like they have a lot of flavor. <laughs> hmm. More flavor than I thought. There's almost, is there salt on it? I think so. Like a or cracker? salted butter. No, it's not like a cracker. Oh. It, it, the peanut gallery. To me, it tastes like pie crust with a What's little the, bit of something on it. Like pie crust with a little extra butter. Mm -hmm. What's the Greek dessert? Baklava. Baklava. This, this kind of it's like the base of baklava yep. without yeah. without the nuts and the honey and the goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, it's fine. Yeah, I just wonder if this feels like something else to me. Let me read for a second. I like this better than the lady finger. It doesn't really say like what it's supposed to be used for. I wonder if like if it's intended to be had with something. You know what I mean? Tea. Perhaps. I All right. I want to open this because I don't know. This is mini can. Cantuccini. Cantuccini. Can Cantuccini. I can sing in Italian. Apparently, I just can't speak it. <laughs> um, so this is a little top that pops off of it. You know what? Let's let's stop for a minute. Let's see if this says anything about those pastry things. Get this. They're made with a traditional re recipe that requires the, fold, the dough to be folded 192 times to obtain its crispy texture. Mm. And then it's glazed with butter and it's it has a distinctive and delicate flavor. I'd go with delicate flavor. Yeah. <laughs> but who counts? Like, These are cute right. little things. Well, aren't they? I feel like, like, I feel like, like since, it's a, since it's Italian, we should be having coffee with this. Looks like biscotti. They do look like biscotti. Biscotti. Mmm. very it, crunchy. It's Italian. <laughs> what? Watch your dentures. Hmm. <laughs> if you have. This one. You can't take her anywhere. <laughs> um, that's good. I don't like a crunchy chocolate chip anything, really. Really? I like soft, soft things. And, soft uh -huh. and chewy. So it's not bad. The flavor is good. It's what just crunchy. Here. So these are traditional Tuscany 
Biscotti biscuits. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that was you, not me. <laughs> they are made with all natural ingredients and no added colors or preservatives. They can be enjoyed on their own or paired with a cup of coffee or milk. I could see that. I think coffee. I think folks like to dunk. Yep, yep I think so too. But those are good. It's kind of a biscotti thing, right? We kind of got our way from our thumbs up and thumbs down, but mostly you can tell what we think immediately. Yeah. It's an it's an iffy. Are you going to give it a 75% like yeah. Oliver? Right. All right, this is the <laughs> snack wafers. <laughs> it says something else. Balacho. Balacho. Balacho cacao. And I have a feeling these are crispy wafers filled with a cocoa cream. Oh, I was going to guess that there was going to be more hazelnut, but not so much. Mom and I share well. Mm. You eat like girls. Those are good. That gets you thumbs up. I like it because it's really dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm with you. Mom had to think about that one for me. Yeah, we, there's nothing in this box that wouldn't be good with coffee. It could just be because we all want a cup of coffee. That, that could be why we all think that. <laughs> Alright, this is the Choco Burger. Um, it's just one little thing and it just says Choco Burger. Mm, cute little package. Babe, I wonder if there's something else in there. Or if it's just straight up chocolate. Let's so it says this contains an outer layer of chocolate and an inner layer, layer, layer of chocolate and hazelnut cream. Absolutely the sweetest burger you'll ever eat. Why don't you two split that? One have a bite and then I'll let you guys determine. Mm. <laughs> oh, Mama says that's good. <laughs> oh, thank you, Daddy. Well, that's that's Mama for good. <laughs> Mm. That's a thumbs up. That is a mm -hmm. <laughs> the chocolate that is inside of that was really good. Yeah, that's good. That's more of a rich chocolate, like yeah. a rich milk chocolate yeah. kind of. This would be something good like after a meal. You didn't want a big dessert. One, one little thing. A little mm -hmm. sweetness. Like a that was delightful. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this fun little Did thing. Did they only put one of those in there? Yeah, only one. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Um, this is the nurse Kono, <laughs> Kono Snack. It says Choco Parties. It's this little, it looks like a firework, doesn't it? Or a, or a ice cream cone. Yeah. Right? Or yeah, like a drumstick thing. Drumstick, that's it. Um, it's a crispy, delicious cone that comes, comes in the form of a wafer lined with chocolate filling. The chocolate is smooth in texture and rich in taste, and it's further decorated by colorful chocolate candies. This totally looks like a drumstick. All right, I, wa I want you guys to see this because I think it's so cute. You see, it, li it really looks like a little drumstick. It's got the little candies. Right, we decided I'm going to do this. I'm not quite sure how to go. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could bite from the bottom so I don't get all this business. Wow, you <laughs> broke a tooth or something. <laughs> Looks like all little M&Ms on top. It's good. Here. <laughs> Back sit down, have a bite. I'll leave the candies for somebody else. It's good. I mean, <laughs> it's not something I would go out of my way for, but the chocolate inside it is good. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? That's the way to eat candy, man. Oh, did he just shout it? Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. So how was the last bite of it? Wonderful. Was it good? Yeah. Would you go out of your way for it? No. All right, <laughs> there you go. All right, this is bach, bachi? Bachi. Bachi, I think, if I remember my Italian right. And it says, exquisite, of exquisite chocolates, not just plain old chocolates, exquisite Italian chocolates with an outer layer and rich dark chocolate surrounding an inner layer of chocolate and hazelnut filling. We've had enough chocolate for a lifetime. Um, yeah, each bachi piece comes with a romantic Italian poem written and embedded within its wrapper. Oh, that's Italian. <laughs> I thought bocce oh, look. was a game. You There's two it. of them in there. You and Mom each have one. Because I ate the top of the column thing. Oh, oh boy. Fair's fair. Well, let's see if we can find the poem. Let me unwrap carefully. I'm trying to unwrap very carefully so that... Oh! It's like a fortune. It comes in there like a fortune. All right, here's my poem. Oh good, I thought it was only going to be in Italian, that was going do to be in need, big trouble. Do we need violins? Perhaps. <laughs> it says, well there's a lot of Italian and only one language. sentence in English. The sentence in English says, my soul cannot bear to be without you. 
make it happy. What can I say? Oh boy. <clears throat> Ogni sogno uh. nas, nasce <laughs> di notte. Read the English, man. Read the English. Laju dove i tuoi. Oh, it's the Sintiliana. And all my nightly dreams are where thy dark eye glances. Mm. Well, there you have it. Cheers. <laughs> Todo sucho nace de noche donde tus ojos brillan. I think this has a hazelnut right at the top, that little top part. Don't no worry. It was a hazelnut. Here. So that was good. That was really good. And the little hazelnut was good at the top. All right. We're down to some hard candy and zots. Let's bottle up these. Maybe just foam up in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Like, um, oh, blue raspberry? Oh, those are good. I say we go orange. I'm afraid my mouth is going to turn into... Mom's passing on something blowing up in her mouth. <laughs> go figure. So this is the orange zots. And they come in things like this. I didn't know that. You probably had these before. Or you've seen them before anyway. And they're just, they're like the shape of a hall. So that's what they are. That's what I think of in that shape. And then the you suck on them for a while. And then there's something fizzy on the inside. Yeah. Right. You can get them at candy stores. Sure. Crunch it. Okay. You're not supposed to crunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mine's coming out the end of it. I didn't even have to crunch. Mm. Oh yeah. It's kind of like. Mm. Oh, there you go. It's kind of sour, isn't it, honey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> nice taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I've never had one. Bob has had them before. I can't even do it with a straight face. Eyes are watering. And <laughs> the inside of a Zot is particularly sour. Are they all like that? Yeah. No. Oh, well, there you go. So, you know. I have nipped to the inside there. Yeah. You're forewarned. I crunched it. I was taking one for the team. All right. Since Mom didn't have a Zot, she's going to be the judge of the Agrumi. How do you say that? Agrumi. Agrumi candy by Mangini. And they're citrus flavored hard candies. They're absolutely delicious, made with all natural ingredients. Often found at Italian restaurants, these treats are favorites for kids and adults alike. Well, all right then. The trick is getting into it. Oh, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> here goes nothing. The pressure! <laughs> so many eyes! <laughs> well, we have more of the sour. Is it sour? Mm -hmm. But not like, ooh. Not like what just went down with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, that's pretty good. Well, this, All right. is, this, is, this is a delightful thing to do. Isn't it fun? Yeah. And I, I've said several times before, I just think it's so much fun to do with families. And um, I had uh, an extra one of the Korean boxes that I gave to our friends from church. And he's um, the father of that is American Korean. And so they have um, a lot, they try to do a lot of their Korean history. And they really had a good time. They did it on their Korean Thanksgiving, I think is what Okay. Right. And they had a really good time with it. So I just, and I've heard so many things from you guys and from, you know, others that have had this box that it's really just a fun thing to do as a family. And I've enjoyed doing it with my church cuties. I've enjoyed doing, doing it with Bob a couple times, with my nephews, with you guys. So, um, yeah. So anyway. Recommend them highly. Shout out to all my, my that, friends and family in Vermont. And that, <laughs> especially that, that one chocolate one. That one was weird. Yeah. One was that so Mom, good. so, okay. So mom's favorite was the... I gotta find it. Hamburger chocolate, wasn't it? Well, that was pretty good, but there was one before. Bocce? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, that's what it was. The one with the hazelnut on okay. the top of it, right? I think so. Bocce. So Mom's Everything favorite was the bocce, which is the one with the little hazelnut on the top of it. I think my, mine might have been that choco burger. What was yours? Uh, that, it was all pretty much pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like that's not too hard to place. I like the Ferrero Rocher. Yes, right. That's true. That those are definitely good. Which you can get at Walgreens. You can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, <laughs> not at all fine candy stores. Drug stores. All right. Department Thank you guys. So, uh, we got to wrap this up. They only have so oh, much yeah. time in their day to watch us. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this, you, that you enjoyed this. I do still have a coupon code below that doesn't do anything for me. It only does something for you. It gives you a little break on your box. So, again, thank you for watching. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye. 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 <laughs>